What's up, guys? I hope you're well. Today we're checking out Al Murray, why modern medicine is ridiculous. <laughs> I've got my got my reasons for that. But of course, it's Al Murray. Got to have a beer with Al, right? So today I am having from Oscar Blues Brewing Company, Mystic Mutant Experimental IPA Series 5, 7% ABV. I believe Oscar Blues is out of Longmont, Colorado. This is what it looks like. God, it tastes like penicillin. Oh, no. Oh, well. Peachy penicillin. Let's get into the sketch, shall we? These days, we live our lives wrapped in cotton wool. We just take our pills and we get better. I mean, it's, it's just ridiculous now the lives people live. I mean, everyone these days has got asthma, haven't they? Oh, I can't get down the stairs. Oh, I can't get back up. I'm all right now. It's ridiculous. <laughs> Magic. It's that bad. Buy a fucking bungalow for Christ. Right? <laughs> I mean, everyone... Here we call them ranch style houses, just one floor. Gotta be nice to have one of those. I'm tired of stairs. And drives their kids to school so the kids won't be run over by the people driving their kids to school. <laughs> As a result, we're breeding an entire generation of barrel chested, pigeon toed, flat footed, socially inadequate, no sense of direction twats. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's always university in there, Seamus. Now, what is this? What is this? <laughs> oh my god i don't know it's funnier so far the sketch or that the uh, closed caption is way off this beer has like a, a green pepper flavor to it this is not good it's uh i'm gonna give it like a 70. <laughs> british thinking gave us of course penicillin and antibiotics now in the old days when you got sick right you get a proper fucking illness wouldn't you yep <laughs> you'd be poorly at breakfast dead by tea <laughs> Boils in the old pits, quit making plans. It's over. Right. So in the old days, you get a proper fucking illness, wouldn't you? Yeah? Yeah? Like the plague! <laughs> That's right, the plague, not a plague. Right, right, not don't. Not plague. Not Seamus's plague. Not, not Kieran's plague. No, the plague! Yep. Yeah, with his cheeky nickname, the Black Death. It's gonna kill you. Right. It's bring out your dead, innit? Not bring out your wheezy. It's gonna get you. <laughs> It's a proper fucking illness. <laughs> <laughs> this disease means business is carried by rats, for Christ's sake. <laughs> it kills one in three people, gets itself a nursery rhyme. That is a proper fucking illness. <laughs> That's true. That is true. Most nursery rhymes, you know, if you delve into the, the lyrics of them, right? God, this is actually dark. <laughs> these are really dark, and these are things we sing to our kids. To put him to sleep at night? No wonder why we're all kind of fucked up. Because in the old days they had proper illnesses, didn't they? Plagues, poxes, palsies, and agues. <laughs> not syndromes and disorders. Oh, Jesus. Right? Shot they've got us dying off now. <laughs> Sweet. You know, in the old days, what you do when you got sick? Yeah? Yeah? You got the plague and it's gonna kill you. Right? Yep. Yeah. There's only one way of getting over that. There's one simple way. You have to do what Collier does every time he gets sick. One simple thing. What you do is you snap out of it. <laughs> exactly. Snap out of it. 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 With I just tell people stop being a little bitch. <laughs> but the same difference. Emmy would take their exams like everybody else. <laughs> Fail them if necessary. Oh, yeah. Because in the old days when you failed an exam, you were told that you failed that exam. <laughs> you weren't told you'd catch up with the modules on the coursework. <laughs> true. Very true. Who changed that? Why were we not informed? I mean, where is the harm in turning to a 12 year old and saying, Listen, son, you failed that exam, didn't you? You failed it. Yeah, you had yep. two hours in there to read, write, remember, and you blew it out your ass. You're a failure. Do you understand me? You're yep. 12 and you're a failure. <laughs> where is the harm? The 12, you have no hope in life. I, right, for one, emerged unscathed. <laughs> I'll tell you this much there's a harvester on the horizon. Oh, yeah. <laughs> one day I'll get my carvery. One day I'll make me money on the food. Yeah. 
I mean, the point is this, in the old days, you'd stay out of it. That's what the doctor would say, and he'd come at your waving a leech, wouldn't he? Yeah? <laughs> this back then, the medical profession had the good grace to admit they didn't know what the fucking hell they were doing. Exactly. <laughs> come on, sir, let's drill a hole in your head, let the demon out. How about it, eh? Right? Oh, come on, yeah. it's all right, think with your lungs, it's the established fact. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> I'll snap out of it. <laughs> the point is this. <laughs> the point is this. In the old days, you'd snap out of it. These days, you just take your pills, your penicillin, your yep. antibiotics. Now, now, penicillin antibiotics was invented by a British inventor. Yeah? A man from Scotland, a British yeah. inventor called Alexander Fleming. Now, yep. Alexander Fleming's between Bond books. He just finished Golden Eye. <laughs> working up to gold fingers. It's his gold face. Now, <laughs> Mr. Fleming's working method was dead simple. What he'd do yeah, is he'd eat a very big breakfast first thing, yeah, mm -hmm. leave the plates, work through the rest of the day. Now, penicillin antibiotics was discovered last thing on a Friday. Yeah? <laughs> right. <laughs> he was typing away at the time, right? <laughs> 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 oh, Mr. Bond. Nice <laughs> <laughs> tape writer. Oh, Mr. Bond, I expect you to die. <laughs> Press the button on the ejector seat. <laughs> pussy. <laughs> pussy. 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 It's pussy. Been pussy. Here. <laughs> <laughs> Suddenly, the typewriter jammed. The L key got stuck down. Starts shooting out yards of Welsh. Terrifying. <laughs> <laughs> Welsh or code, as I prefer to call it. <laughs> the Germans had used Welsh in the war, it could have been a very different outcome. <laughs> There's no computer known to man that can crack it. No. Right. They're right. Now, Alexander Fleming, he looked up from that typewriter and he looked across them plates and something caught his eye. So on one of them plates, one of them little plates, there was a piece of mould. On one of them fucking plates. And that's all that penicillin was, wasn't it? A piece of mould. On a fucking plate. And he took two simple things, a piece of mould, a fucking plate, and put them together yeah, and created penicillin and saved all your lives. Yeah. Right. That's all it was, Seamus. A piece of mould on a fucking plate. Do it, son. Go on. A piece of mould on a fucking plate. Good yeah. boy. Excellent. <laughs> Hold on the front row. Let's go. A piece of mould <laughs> on a fucking plate. Again. A piece of mould on a fucking plate. <laughs> Anyone, why not? A piece of mould on a fucking plate. And again. There you a go. piece of mould on a fucking plate. One more time. A piece of mould on a fucking plate. <laughs> so true. That's all it was. Imagine that. Yeah? Imagine that. Yeah? Imagine right. that, Steve. Go on. Imagine it. Go on, squad. Imagine it. Do the imagining action, Steve. Imagine it. Keep going. Keep going. I'll tell you when you imagine it. Keep going. Go on, Steve. Imagine it. Have you imagined it, Steve? Have you? Yeah, well, there's no need, is there, mate? It's happened. <laughs> <laughs> Alexander Fleming used British thinking to discover penicillin antibiotics. Now, British thinking is old style thinking. Mm -hmm. British thinking is pine for a glass of white wine, fruit based drink for the lady thinking. <laughs> British thinking has pickle with its ploughman's lunch. <laughs> British thinking selects mighty white, not French stick for its ploughman's lunch. <laughs> British thinking has cheddar, not brie, with its ploughman's lunch. <laughs> It's the finest thing in the world. It's not the thing of some sort of new man. Yeah? Say a bloke called Damien. <laughs> a man wearing earring, a sort of geezer who might allow a woman to buy herself a beer. Yeah. And if Alexander Fleming had been like you, Damien, his head clogged up with new man, French based, ponce derived thinking. <laughs> what would have happened, eh, Squire? I tell you. You'd have washed those fucking plates up. <laughs> <laughs>I look at a lot of modern medicine. And everyone's like, oh, my God, look at this wonder pill. And I'm like, it's a placebo. It's water. It's, 
there's nothing in there and you paid how much? Three hundred dollars for thirty pills? That's the other thing he needs to go after. Insurance and stuff like that. Uh, but yeah, I mean, I wish he could go after American insurance companies because goddamn, are they a bunch of freaking crooks? Three hundred dollars for a bottle of penicillin with uh, ten, twelve, fifteen maybe pills—a little absurd. And that's even with insurance. Without, you're looking at three thousand dollars for ten little pills. It's insane, but yeah. Modern medicine, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, obviously, this is well before 2020. <laughs> or he would be probably going on a tear about whole vaccinations and all that nonsense. But Al Murray, you freaking rocks. I always enjoy checking him out with you guys. I got another Al Murray tomorrow for you guys. Looking forward to that one. With that being said, I want to thank you all for watching. Stay safe. And don't forget to wash your hands. Bye.